Singapore officially hands over the global complex for innovation, which is set to tackle cybercrime to Interpol. Its website stated that cybercrime costs the global economy billions of dollars. It added that crimes such as theft, fraud, illegal gambling, sale of fake medicines are evolving online. Jacqueline Donor reports. Singapore's Ministry of Home Affairs officially handed over the Global Complex for Innovation, which is set to tackle cybercrime to Interpol. Singapore said the IGCI or Interpol Global Complex for Innovation will also be a research and development facility. By focusing on innovation, the IGCI will equip itself with cutting-edge technology to proactively combat crime as it evolves. It will study emerging crime trends and harness technology to develop future policing solutions. Interpol, which has 190 member countries, said it is committed to becoming a global coordination body on the detection and prevention of digital crimes in the modern world. Its website stated that cybercrime costs the global economy billions of dollars. It added that crimes such as theft, fraud, illegal gambling, sale of fake medicines are evolving in line with opportunities presented online and becoming more widespread and damaging. Police are traditionally trained to protect citizens from harm, a harm that is visible or simply physical in nature. But the widening intersection of real and virtual lives challenges that very tradition. And hence, with the Interpol Global Complex for Innovation, or IGCI as we call it, Interpol wanted to establish a center dedicated to fighting cybercrime. Because cybercrimes require us to work with non-police entities. So we need international multidisciplinary alliance to fight cybercrime. The police had suffered from no under-reporting. So police does not have, law enforcement does not have complete picture, complete understanding of the threat we face. So in order for us to effectively, efficiently to deal with this threat, we need to work together. The IGCI Center in Singapore is set to open in April 2015. Reporting from ASEAN Bureau, this is Jacqueline Donor for Eagle News.